Welcome everyone. I really hope you guys have a great festival. I'm sure you are. And thank you very much for joining us at the capoeira workshop. So that was just a small demonstration of one style of capoeira. We call it Angola. And that's like uh, one style with slower movements. You know, you've got uh, slower rhythm, movements more close to the ground. And that's just one style of capoeira. So today, what we're doing here, we have just a small group, but every single one of us comes from a different background in capoeira. We train in a different academy and it's a different styles of capoeira. So the goal here is actually bring for you guys the best of capoeira and we'll try to use the New Zealand Spirit Festival to break these boundaries between the capoeira styles. And with the help of you guys, we'll try to celebrate capoeira as a whole, as a big family and stop trying to divide or, you know, those differences. So I really want welcome you guys and invite you guys to come and join us and participate get involved um, idea here we're gonna do a small workshop just teach you guys the basic movements easy you guys gonna get it straight away because at the end we want to have a beautiful massive circle what we call hoda and everyone is welcome doesn't matter the age or gender everyone's welcome here Capoeira is for everyone. So, on saying that, let, let me just uh, ask you guys, how many of you have done Capoeira before, or experienced it, or...? <laughs> cool. Right. That's quite a few. <laughs> Someone of you guys want to teach us something? <laughs> More than welcome, that's the time. But. Are you guys feeling comfortable to do a little workshop and just learn a few movements and then we can just jump straight up to a big hoda? I want to invite you guys to come a bit closer. Uh, and, and for that, I would like to ask uh, the help of uh, Bruno. He is uh, our teacher of uh, Abadá Capoeira in Auckland. And I really want to help, uh, his help to teach us basic movements. So please, just everyone, feel welcome, let's just make it um, comfortable. We're gonna start with the basic movements. It's a, a marvelous pleasure for us to be here with all of you. Uh, and we are going to experience a little bit of capoeira today. So it's awesome. I know there are a couple of you who has been even dressed for it. That's perfect. That is great. So uh, just because it's a physical thing to do, uh, I want you just to partner with, with someone and we'll just stretch a little bit and then we get started. Is that right? So I will ask Gabriel, Bomber, you guys can partner with someone if there's someone who is like it or herself. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. I will try to make the most of the time we have. And even for stretching, we use some capoeira movements. So everything that we do now, just pay attention because we are going to use that in the near future, in 10 minutes. So uh, I want you to face your partner and one of your legs in the front, another one in the back. Let's go. Now you just meet your hands in the middle and let your forearms stretch. You can bounce your hands and then you help your partner. 
So let's go together. So we are here doing our jinga here. And 
If I change here, you will still face me. If I change here, you still face me. Okay? So, challenge your partner, challenge yourself, and go for it. Okay, now, everyone, okay, I can see you guys are a little bit warmed up. Okay, the day was pretty hot. So I can see everyone is all right, really warmed up. And then now I want to do some stretch. So, with your partner, we will take this time to learn the first kick. The first kick we have in Capoeira is called Benção. Translating to Portuguese, it's called blessing. You are blessing your partner with a kick. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, how it, that's it's called. So, benção is just a kick forward. You lift up your knee and you stretch your leg. So that's it. How are you gonna do? And then you push your partner. Okay. Okay. But now, just because you're stretching, remember it's just stretching and you take making the most of the time when your partner do the benção stretch you hold his leg give hands and you will help him to stretch as much as he can go and when he says that's it and then you hold it for 10 seconds then you change legs and then it's your time okay so benção re just recalling benção benção okay do a benção, you throw a benção and your partner hold your leg and put it up. Just okay, okay. Okay, you really, thank you man. If where is possess? Possess? Just a second. Guys, here, here. Just, a, just one more thing I want to add. If your partner is very well stretched and he can go very high, higher than you can go, easy. You just take a step backwards and you stretch more, okay? okay. Has everyone both stretch both legs? Both legs? No? Okay, Let's go for it. Have you guys done both legs? Stay still. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. You're going behind me like you. That's pretty good. All right, guys, I will ask you again to change partners again, one more time. And we are about to clean the stretching part and we will get to the practice. So I'll change our partners again, one more time, and I'll explain you why I'm asking that, okay? So find a new partner, let's go.
Hey guys, a little bit of story here. I'm asking you to change partners, essentially because capoeira is all, also a night of communion that was used in the past for slaves back in Brazil for to free themselves, to set them free. So they use that to fight whoever was slaving them. So it's really important for us when we have a capoeira group, a capoeira family, like we we like to say, that we had communion that you have connection with everyone so that's why i'm asking you to change partners if it's someone you have, haven't met yet even better so in, let's go to the last one here so now can you help me so now it's essentially the same but it's the second kick this kick is called hammer but in portuguese it's called martelo so martelo you remember the basic that i told you you lift up your knee and then you stretch, right? For this one, you lift up your knee, but sideways, and then you stretch. Okay, it's called martial. So the kick's gonna be like this, but doing that slowly, I will lift up my knee, stretch, my partner will hold, and we start to lift up my leg, and she will say, okay. All right, 10 seconds each leg, both of you. I don't think you have problems in, in church gelad. Aí eu vou segurar. Dá pra mais? Eu seguro aqui. It's important that the, the foot that stays on the ground, you need to turn it a little bit in order to allow you to give a little bit of height of, to your kick. So if I keep yes, if I keep my foot pointing forward, I can't actually kick too high, you know? But if I let it turn, I can kick a lot higher than if I don't turn it. Also, I protect my knee of of hurting my knee okay so you allow your kick that say the, the foot that it says on the ground to turn and then you kick to turn here and then you kick this foot okay Both legs. All right. Now, I want you to make a big circle. Let's get everyone here. Make a big circle for us. Let's go get everyone here. In a circle, you don't need, for now, you don't need much space so you can stay close the person beside you yeah good uh, think I was yeah okay yay go for it all right guys now remember that I told that it's a martial art and it is for it's important for you to stay like protect so first thing for protection in capoeira for the fans we are not gonna block the, the strikes, the kicks, whatever it comes. We are not gonna block. That's not the first defense. You have the ways to block it, but that's not the, the, 
the same. So the main way you use to defense. The main way you use to say the defense is escape from the kicks. So we will dodge from the kicks. We call that skivas. So it means dodge. So you dodge, you escape from the kicks. So I ask Gabriel. If Gabriel throws a martelo, rather than blocking it, I will escape from it. So I can come here. Another one. I can come here. Another one with the other leg now. I can come here, and there are many ways. So, but just to keep it short, I want you to do two of them. The first and basic one is called cocorinha. Basically, you are here, and then you go down as much as you can. Stay there. Come everyone with me. Just squat. Good. Relax. Try to keep both your feet plants on the ground. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good position to relax, to release the tension of your lower back. So you stay here. Okay? And it's also used for capoeira, in capoeira for the fans. So if I throw a kick and he can go to co I will throw the kick and he can go to Coparinha to the fence and then he comes back to the game. Alright? So I want you to do that. Uh, so let's see if everyone get the idea. We are all here and then Coparinha. Let's, let's see what I'm doing. Go, go, go. Good. Everyone back in the game? Good. Now, they will play, and then we start moving to our jinga in our place, just changing legs. When they stop, everyone has to go down to Cocorinha, okay? So we are here. One more time. Down, Cocorinha, everyone. Good. Now, I want you, we are going to test your reflex. So, I will ask Possess to help me here. Everyone come back, comes back to the game. Good. Now, they will keep on playing, and Possess and myself we will go one each side, and we will see if you are actually getting the idea. So, this is important to do Cocorinha when you have to. So, otherwise, there is no meaning I'm here, and then I just go down. I need to go down when the kicks is thrown, throw me, and then I will go down for the fence, okay? So, if, if we are playing here, you don't go down, you don't go down, and now you go. Okay? So now there is a purpose for it. Okay? Let's go. Go! 
Amir and Gabriel. Keep your throwing kicks down there. I've ever seen. Don't tell this to anyone else that is not here, right? Okay, so I will just teach you one more defense, one more esquiva, and it's called esquiva lateral or esquiva de lado. It's a sideways dodge, okay? So we are here, Jinga, everyone here, Jinga. One leg on the front, one leg in the back, and then we just turn. Let's go, everyone, to the same side, okay? Let's go, everyone, with right leg on the back so we are gonna gonna turn our bodies ever to the right okay and keep on looking forward here where the game is coming so keep on looking in the middle of the circle you have to see me and then once you turn your body you just go down here you don't go as down as you did for cocarinha you just go a little bit down here and protect your face with one of your arms, okay? So come back to Jinga. Right leg on the back. So the same back doesn't the same leg does in the back. You are turning your body towards the side and then you sit like a chair. Okay? Then you come back and then you change your arms and back you are at Jinga. Okay? So let's try that again. So, now with your left leg in the back, turn your body to the left and go down and come back, Jinga. Turn your body to the left, go down, come back, Jinga. Okay, now we are gonna try that, put some motion in. So, we are a Jinga here, and then when I say escape, or when I say the kick's coming, or whatever bullshit they say, you just turn your body and go down and back you up, okay? Okay, let's play, let's see. Important, listen to the, to the music and try to keep your jinga at the same pace they are playing. It's important for capoeira. We have so many styles of capoeira and you need to follow the bearing ball or the music. Whatever pace it's putting, you need to follow it, okay? That's it. The kid's coming! <laughs> Come back to the game. That's it. Keep yourself safe. Yeah, come back to the game. Good. All right, just escape. One more time. Good. Now keep the jinga. We will try to put everything together. So, keep your jinga, 